All right, so we've looked at a few patterns when you have a single digit recurring, much like the 0 0.4 on the left. You may notice something different with these two. Take a moment to spot the difference and see what you think this is going to mean for our question. Okay, so hopefully you've, when you've written this out, you can see you're going to get 0 0.4 444 four, four recurring and in this case you're going to get 0 0.64664 four, six, four, six, four recurring. So if we use our algebraic strategy from the previous video and then we've got y and 10y in both cases you may spot that there's we're going to encounter a problem here. So I'm just going to swap the y's, uh, put the 10y's on the top so this is now in order. Now if we try to do our subtraction on the left, this works out quite nicely because you've got 10 take away 1, it's going to be 9y equals 4 take away 0 is 4, and then the recurring part cancels out. So in this case we can automatically see y is equal to 4 over 9. Now on the right hand side, if we try this subtraction, the, le the left hand side of the equation is fine, 10y take away 1y is 9y, on the right though, there's a bit of an issue here because you've got 4 take away 6, 6 take away 4 and that goes on forever. So 6 take away 0 will work but actually after the decimal it just becomes a little bit too messy. So think about what could we do to eradicate this problem and actually have an algebraic subtraction where the recurring part does disappear so we're going to eliminate the same recurring part. So I'll give you a clue here. Well if we've got 1y and we've also looked at 10y, well actually we can also look at different multiples of that. So here I've listed 10y, 100y, 1000y and actually we can go on forever. We could have 10,000y, a million y. Very rarely you need to use that but in this case we've got 1y, 10y, 100y, 1000y. And what you'll notice here is the decimals are lined up and after the decimals you can actually see here that the recurring part does match for certain combinations. So for example 10y we can see we've got the 4646 4, recurring part here and actually for 1000y we've got the 464646 4, 4, recurring and actually for the 100y the recurring part after the decimal is the 6464 4, 4, and for 1y we've got 0 0.6464 4, 6, 4. so actually these kind of come in pairs and actually there are many more combinations these are not the only ones we can use we can go on forever actually um, but in this case Let's try to use what I've highlighted in blue. We're going to use 100y and 1y because after the decimal we've got 0 0.64 recurring. Well, that's going to be eliminated if we do a subtraction. So 0 0.64 recurring. Let's try to convert that. So we can do it down here. So let's let y equal 0 0.64 four six four six four recurring now we just put a one y one in front of there the invisible one so we've got and we can use a hundred y this time a hundred y is equal to sixty four point six four six four six four recurring and actually that works out quite neatly because when we do our subtraction, 100y take away 1y is 99y, 64 take away 0 is 64, and then the recurring part very conveniently is eliminated when we do the subtraction. So we actually end up with, if we divide both sides by 99, we end up with 64 over 99, which is our conversion from a decimal into a fraction. The 64 over 99 doesn't simplify, so that is our final answer. We can say that y equals 64 over 99. We're going to look at some other pattern, really interesting patterns with this as well.
So here's an example of another question for you to try to show that 0 0.23 recurring is 23 over 99. Pause the video and then I'll go through the answer. Okay, so hopefully you've done the, the question, you've attempted it, so I'm going to work through it now. Um, pick a letter, so in this case we're just going to pick Y equals 0 0.2323 recurring. Now, I'm not going to use 10y because if I did use 10y, I'm going to get 2.3232 and you can see that does not line up very well. It doesn't cancel out. So instead, we're going to use 100y. So 100y equals, well, that would be 23.23 recurring. I'm going to do the subtraction. So 23y take away 1y, uh, sorry, 100y take away 1y is 99y equals 23. The recurring part cancels out. So y equals 23 over 99. We can cancel the fraction down if possible. In this case, we can't. So that's going to be our final answer. And we've just proven it algebraically.